Former Labour Party power broker, former Labour finance minister, Lindsay Tanner. He's been quiet for a long time, but when he decides to make a noise, it's very loud and well reported. He has condemned Labour. Ed Husick, Labour MP. Uh, Steve uh, Chobo, Liberal MP, join us now to talk over politics. Uh, Ed, I have to start with you. Mm -hmm. uh, Lindsay Tanner all of, a side, uh, all of a sudden decides to talk out, uh, says that he really condemns the way Labour has treated uh, Kevin Rudd. But more importantly, he seems to be saying the very fabric of Labour is poisonous. Well, I read some of his comments this morning. I mean, uh, in particular, the comment about the NDIS and using the Productivity Commission, for instance, to help uh, map out options there. I mean, Lindsay was a pretty tough finance minister. Uh, there weren't too many uh, proposals that got passed him without going through the productivity or being able to stack up in terms of numbers. Where I do agree with him is I think uh, politics is always at risk of becoming soulless insofar as I actually think we have lost the sense within politics to persuade. Rather, we're just, you know, sticky tape the one-liners of the day on a battering ram but and what just he's keep saying, pushing and pushing and pushing a one-liner. It's one partly that, but he's focusing on Labor and he's, say, he's saying essentially you've lost the idealism, you've lost the passion, all you're left with now is politics. Yeah, and I, I think that's a danger across the political spectrum. I think, I, I don't disagree, within our, and certainly within our party, one of the reasons why I joined is because, particularly in terms of Labor, is the ability to change society for the better. And I haven't lost that, that sensation. But do you look around but, your colleagues and but, do you think maybe these people have lost it, maybe the passion isn't there, the idealism isn't there, all you've got is pragmatism? Because I think you know, when you look at it in the context of politics right now, as I said, we've lost the art of persuading. If you come up, like Steve will say something uh, that our side of politics will ship him on if he has an independent thought. If I have an independent thought, it gets raised in, in Parliament. We have the media on the sideline sticking sticks in a cage you know, going mm. fight, fight, because you just love the deviation. And as a result, we get this sort of homogenous, you know, politician that, um, you know, represents something that's come off a production line, rather than people willing to stand up and push ideas. Steve, are these comments from Lindsay, are they golden for you? Are they golden for the coalition? Well, I think what they do about the cat. I mean, we've been saying for some time, Paul, that you know, Labor's lost its way. I mean, we had the Prime Minister who said, oh, I had to kill off Kevin Rudd. I had to knife him in the back because that was necessary because we you know, made bad decisions on border protection, for example. And yet here we are, you know, three, four years later, and uh, we've got the same government basically making exactly the same mistakes. Uh, so you know, I, I disagree with something that Ed said, though, about it being too homogenous. I mean, the reality is as well, Paul, that there's a difference between the two sides of politics. I mean, no wonder Ed feels like that because on Labor's side basically it's a cookie cutter where they're all ex-union officials. At least on our side we've got former coppers, you know, we've got small business people, we've got lawyers, we've got doctors, yeah. I mean it's a real mix of people but and I think that makes a big difference. It seems to me though Stephen that what Lindsay Tanner is saying is not so much Labor's lost its way but actually yeah. Labor's lost Labor. That, that there isn't that there isn't that heartland sure. support has gone maybe because Labor or the coalition or someone's done such a good job that those traditional Labor supporters have been elevated in their lifestyles and they're no longer oh, there I, for Labor. Yeah. There's no need for Labor anymore. No, I disagree. I disagree. Well, I think with it's that. part of a bigger story. I mean, but I think it's part of a bigger story though too, Paul. I and mean, if you look at what's happened in politics over the last hundred years, I mean, don't forget the Labor Party was rooted in socialism. That that's its philosophical beating heart. Yep. And what we've seen is the collapse of socialism around the world. I mean. With the exception of effectively China, um, all through those Eastern European blocs, the Soviet Union, socialism collapsed because it's a failed system. Um, and it's really only people like Ed and some of the Labor Party people who try to pretend that no, we're still, you know, a beating social democracy in our hearts. And you know, I think most people recognise that yeah, it's, well, a, given it's my, a political given my party folks without a compass. A socialist country, I think you'd be. Uh uh, well advised to check out my history, mate, rather than well, making Ed, an assumption. Ed, but do you is the Labor Party about socialism? No, that's it's your, that's not. your route. You and can't that's deny the thing. it. Well, the thing is, it, that's the convenient line about you know, saying that it's socialism uh, when in actual fact the world has well and truly moved on. But the thing that gets me, Steve, about some of your comments is, as I said, like you had your own leader last week say, if you want to freelance, you won't be on the front bench. And I'm coming back to the point I made, Paul, about the fact that if we want politics to be able to advance ideas, you're going to have to break out from the mould from time to time. And Steve, you do it on your side, and we uh, and, and there are people on our side that attack you for it because it's great to point out the division. And I do it on my side, and I get attacked by people on their side because, mm -hmm. again, it makes great uh, media. But the fact of the matter is, politics it. should All be. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. -o. <laughs> but it should be about advancing ideas. All right, let's just finish this very quickly. Um, Ed, Lindsay Tanner has essentially said he thinks it's too late. 
He's essentially said, you actually can't save Labor. You would disagree with that? Well, he's a chirpy chap, isn't he? I mean, I, I don't think... Uh, look, I, I agree with Lindsay on a lot of things, but I don't think... I just simply don't agree with that, that assessment whatsoever. And uh, I, I think that, as I said before, we need to have, uh, particularly within both political parties, people that are interested in being able to cop a bit of heat along the way but do something which they believe is right in terms of the political sphere. All right. Ed Husick uh, and uh, Steve Chobo, thank you both very much for joining us this morning. We'll catch you back next Thanks, week. Thanks, mate. All Thank the best. you. See you, Steve.